Despite their polished interfaces and marketing as China's answer to mainstream Linux distributions, Deepin, Ubuntu Kylin, Lingmo OS, and Open Kylin each reveal serious shortcomings upon closer inspection. Deepin's repeated privacy controversies and opaque telemetry undermine trust. Ubuntu Kylin, while stable, remains hyper-localized with limited appeal outside mainland China and minimal differentiation from stock Ubuntu. Lingmo OS, though visually appealing, suffers from a fledgling ecosystem, scant community support, and unclear update policies. Open Kylin, despite backing by Chinese hardware vendors, feels like an immature Ubuntu remix with buggy features, sparse documentation, and questionable long-term backing. Meanwhile, Deepin. Deepin markets itself on aesthetics and user-friendliness, but persistent privacy concerns overshadow its visual polish. Telemetry and Data Collection Multiple independent reports have shown Deepin silently sending encrypted analytics data to third-party servers without explicit user consent, breaching basic privacy expectations. Even Linux community forums brim with uneasy speculation over potential backdoors tied to its origin in China's Wuhu technology. Official reassurances fall flat. The Deepin team's not spyware statement dismisses concerns as baseless, yet fails to audit or open up critical components of their app store and repos for third-party validation. This defensive posture has only deepened mistrust among security-conscious users. Performance and Stability Issues Beyond privacy, Deepin's heavy DDE, Deepin desktop environment, routinely demands more resources than comparable UIs, leading to sluggish behavior on older hardware. Frequent UI glitches and sporadic crashes further erode its usability reputation. Chamber Ubuntu Kylin As an official Ubuntu flavor, Ubuntu Kylin promises seamless integration for Chinese users, but struggles with broader relevance. Minimal Differentiation Underneath its unique wallpapers and SOGU input method, Ubuntu Kylin remains almost identical to standard Ubuntu, leaving many to question its raison d'etre outside local language tweaks. Localization versus isolation While deep integration of Chinese language tools benefits native speakers, it alienates international users and complicates documentation. The project's community remains tightly centered in China, creating a barrier for global contributors. Lack of innovation Critically, Ubuntu Kylin seldom pioneers new features. Instead, it lags months behind upstream Ubuntu, offering few compelling reasons to switch from the mainstream version. Number, Lingmo OS. Lingmo OS aspires to a sleek, cute fish-inspired experience, but its infancy shows. Shallow ecosystem. As a Debian-based newcomer, Lingmo OS lacks the extensive repositories and PPA culture that power distributions like Ubuntu or Fedora. Key applications can be missing or outdated, forcing manual installs that defeat its out-of-the-box promise. Uncertain support. Its official site boasts a beautiful UI design, yet provides no clear LTS roadmap or security update guarantees. This ambiguity risks leaving users vulnerable once initial enthusiasm wanes. Small, fragmented community. With minimal online forums and sparse GitHub activity, troubleshooting often falls to impersonal issue trackers. New adopters can find themselves stranded with little peer support. Open Kylin. Backed by state-linked companies, Open Kylin intends to showcase China's desktop Linux prowess, but falls short in execution. Ubuntu Remix with limited identity. Though touted as independent, Open Kylin's core remains Ubuntu under the hood, wrapping a custom theme and a handful of pre-installed apps. This superficial differentiation fails to justify the project's large institutional backing. Bug-prone and incomplete. Reviews of version 1.0 highlight stability issues, missing translations, and inconsistent UI elements, suggesting it was rushed to meet political milestones rather than user needs. AI ambitions outpace maturity. Recent claims of built-in AI assistance and local LLM support sound flashy, yet basic desktop integrations remain shaky, and Windows still dominates China's AI PC market by a wide margin. 
Conclusion: While each of these Chinese Linux distributions presents enticing design flourishes, their collective shortcomings, ranging from privacy scandals and minimal innovation to fledgling ecosystems and unstable releases, make them hard sells for discerning users. Unless you have a specific need for their localized features or government-aligned integrations, the compromises in security, support, and stability may outweigh any superficial appeal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody, and don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms, so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye. Have a wonderful day.